on today's episode of how bad is bad um well pretty sure you shouldn't have oil on your dipstick all the way up there what the heck causes that and also what happened i don't know i'm pretty sure that your oil should not be this is super muddy i don't got anywhere else to lay uh yeah uh it should not look like that look like what take can you take a picture <sighs> Um, well, it looks, it looks bad. <laughs> like the oil and everything. Yeah, there's oil everywhere. Everywhere. You know there's a spider. All the way down the car. You know there's a white spider? Ah, ow, 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 ow. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. What in the world, guys? Oh, Dora's... They seem to have done it. We have three people! Yep. Three people! Three people on. I mean, you guys can see here, Miss Dora is down. Dad's coming to the rescue. Brother's coming to the rescue. It's nighttime, so this is gonna be a dark vlog. Um, there we go. Now I got now I got some light on me. Y'all can see me. So good morning. My name's Trevor. Or well, good night, and welcome back to the Archivate YouTube channel, where we also struggle with daily problems as well as daily vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> so i got a clip i can show you miss dora was spitting oil when we got home making some real weird noises sounded like the lifters were hitting sure enough they were come home she's just spewing oil out and so now i'm draining the rest of it i got the oil the problem is my oil pressure sender uh switch it, it was just loose it went bad they're known to go bad on these explorers if they'd only throw that thing in twice and then just oh, I'll turn that. yeah it's good right so guys we are looking right up here find your oil filter and then it will be right oh i'm not showing the right spot right there you guys should be able to see that hole right there yep that is where the new sensor will go. So I'm gonna set you guys down, put it in here. And I'm going to start threading it in by hand. Just like so. So there we go. Now I'll show you guys so you can be extra sure. That's where your oil uh, pressure switch is. And now what I'm using on it is a 21 long socket with a, uh, a bender. I forget what you call those. Get that on there. So, there you go guys, right there is the new sensor put in and the pigtail clicked back on it, ready to go. Now we just gotta finish out with an oil change. 
So I got my oil drained, waiting on an oil rinse and the oil. And then uh, we'll be we'll be done here. And Miss Dora should be back operable running and not being funny like that. So I'm really glad, really thankful that this happened literally in the driveway. Well, it, she got us home, I mean. I heard it on the road. I was like, man, we need to go home and check this out. So we checked it out before we went anywhere else. And I'm glad we did because otherwise we probably would have like blew the motor or worse. Well, that would be worse. <laughs> so uh, we'll tune in when we get some oil in here. Get it going. Go get some supper right fast. Catch you guys in a second. Today, Thursday, November 4th, in our Jesus Calling devotional book, it reads, Walk peacefully with me through this day. You are wandering you are wondering how you will cope with all that is expected of you. You must traverse this day like any other, one step at a time. Instead of mentally rehearsing how you will do this or that, keep your mind on my presence and on taking the next step. The more demanding your day, the more help you can expect from me. This is a training opportunity. Since I designed you for deep dependency on your shepherd king, challenging times wake you up and amplify your awareness of needing my help. When you don't know what to do, wait while I open the way for you. Trust that I know what I'm doing and be ready to follow my lead. I will give you strength. I will give strength to you and I will bless you with peace.